Okay, welcome to my IBTOK IA practice. Um, so, for my real life situation, I um, I make music, or at least I try to, um, sometimes, and um, I was kind of just messing around on a track I was working on, and I randomly made this kind of really cool, um, but scary piano roll type thing, and it reminded me a lot of uh, one of my favorite artists, Tom York from Radiohead, um, his Suspiria soundtrack. Um, it just was really creepy and sounded like it would fit in really well with that soundtrack, so I, I, I kept it for a while and added some extra spooky noises to it and everything. And um, yeah, and I, then I released it um, to my website and other sources. And I do listen to it every few days because I just I keep going back to it because I find it really cool. So the KQ I harvested from this um, is to what extent does creating art affect personal and shared knowledge of the artist and those who experience the art? Okay. Um, and answer this KQ, um, I wanted to first dive into emotion. Um, because art has a lot to do with emotion. Um, it's really intrinsically um, connected with emotion on many levels. It's created through emotion, it spreads emotion, it makes um, the observer feel emotion. So um, I went to emotion first. Um, so emotion, um, how it affects knowledge, um, it affects the reasoning, it can induce bias. Um, this is seen a lot when somebody is sad or angry at a person. They um, can't. They can't really. They, to an extent, stop sympathizing with them, which is another emotion. Um, but it may, it creates a strong bias against the person or idea or anything, and makes rational reasoning extremely difficult. And emotion also affects thought process, which has an, a lot to do with um, reasoning. So if one's really sad, their thoughts are just going to be manipulated and a bit different all around. Um, with with a change in mood as well, well, emo mood really is emotion, um, at least most of the time. And what this can do is it can change a person's tolerance. Um, and what I mean by that is like their willingness to their willingness to like just be around another person or receive information from that person or tell people that information um, and with processing information like if one in a bad emotional state is told information um, that um, they may have a bias to go along with that information or they may process it wrong, or a lot differently than they normally would, um, and that can also affect reasoning and um, all that jazz. And so, emotional versus Im irrational reasoning. Um, focusing on a few specific emotions here. Uh, inspiration um, is an emotion, and that can effect reasoning because it makes you want to do something which can be productive or counterproductive um, usually productive if it's inspiration procrastination is kind of another um, product of emotion but it's basically I guess reverse inspiration it causes one to really go into doing nothing which is not good and goes against rational reasoning um, because if it was rational reasoning just get it done you know and with grief, um, with the five stages denial and all that, it's particularly denial that can really affect an emotional bias to, like, to affect one's personal knowledge. Um, because if they're experiencing a sad thing, they're going to, if they're experiencing grief and they are in denial, their personal knowledge is potentially different from reality a little bit. Um, and all that has stuff to do with bias, bias towards a project, bias um, towards homework, all that stuff. And then with rational reasoning, there's the uh, 
two types, or maybe just one type. Um, but that usually has to do with factual stuff. Um, I hear barking outside, dogs bark, there's a dog outside my house, that kind of reasoning. Um, and I also want to talk about a variety of emotions, because with art you can get a variety of emotions, and those emotions are very impactful with how a person might think, how a person might do stuff. Um, and emotions like this would include anger, happiness, those, those basic ones, and things um, like intrigue, and inspiration, and the will to do something, those are all emotions, and these all affect um, reasoning, and with affecting reasoning they affect personal and shared knowledge. Um, I'll go back to that. So they affect personal knowledge because of biases and all that, but also um, how someone interprets an event or an idea or anything like that. Um, they're going to they're going to have a different idea of what that means or what they want that to mean based on the emotions that they're go currently going through and um, to connect this back to art and everything art is a very emotional topic and subject and can change someone's emotions like their sad songs, happy songs, even like revenge, vengeful songs um, I really focused a lot with music on this because I um, it relates back to my real life example and everything like that so with um, emotion in the creation of art um, we have examples like um, a band Elbow, they're from the UK and with their um, latest album the main songwriter of it um, during the creation of the album his dad died and his first child was born and that created a swell of emotions that he put into the album to make it a very emotional album and that comes across in listening to the album and everything like that and that can change one's own emotion and then that affects everything that we talked about in the previous slide um, and then with Radiohead and Nine Inch Nails they have their own kind of examples of that and then I wanted to talk about interpretation of art as well um, because interpreting art um, can affect and change your emotions but is also affected by your emotions themselves um, and the interpretation is personal knowledge um, because it's knowledge that isn't shared it's entirely um, bound to yourself and emotion has great effects both ways in that process um, so, yeah emotional reactions to art once again, sad songs or a, or dark painting or dark sculpture or anything like that. This will create a reaction which will trigger an emotion in a human being which will affect the personal and shared knowledge. It affects their shared knowledge because of how... It affects their shared knowledge because they... They are changed and any knowledge that they share goes through that filter in themselves of that emotion and that process and that reasoning that bias um, and that changes the shared knowledge because if you get that knowledge from somebody else and they're going through that then you have to interpret that and that interpretation of that is different than what that person might normally share that knowledge as so you have a different perception of it as a result and that's shared knowledge an influence on emotions and raising I, I talked about that last slide and then movie soundtracks I thought were a really great example of this because they are made to sway your emotions um, sad movies or spooky movies have different kinds of soundtracks that make you feel um, claustrophobic or sad or happy there's different keys like major and minor notes um, I don't know too much about music theory, but I know there's a lot of things that can go into that in making somebody feel particular emotions. Um, in conclusion, art affects 
knowledge because it is tied fundamentally to emotion, which affects knowledge both personal and shared because it changes the people it inflicts, and those people are the vessels and creators of knowledge. Uh, thank you, I hope to learn a lot about my future IA from this experience, and I... I... Mm -hmm.